Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This will be the last match for tonight. It's going to be Cybernetic Pony and Jericho once again, this time on Act Natural. This is going to be pretty interesting. We only have... Game start now. All the button presses. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't... I checked the configuration setting was actually off for debugging. Go figure. Anyhow, I guess it didn't affect the debug print. I'm really not sure what's going on there. It's always Unit 17, too. Oh well. Anyway. Separate Pony going for Vekir, while Jerakun also goes for Vekir. Man, Jerakun is being really atypical this... Well, actually today, yeah, it was... All these games are pretty recent. Jerakun normally plays Grekum. And Separate Pony, on the other hand, normally plays CISO with a Grekum backup. So it's a little unusual for him to play Vekir, but I think they're both testing out the new balance changes. So yeah, the big balance changes for Vekir are that Teth Halcyons are basically now more glass cannony than they have ever been. And that's the big one. Uh, there are a couple other ones as well. Shin Halcyon's HP was reduced, or sorry, it was increased slightly, which makes up for its cost. It was never really cost effective. And Bastion has had its build... All turrets actually have had their build times increased. Bastion's damage has been increased as well by about four-thirds, actually. Which, incidentally, is the same ratio as the Teth Halcyon. So, yeah. Pretty big... Small increase. Oh, it's, it's an increase. I don't know how big of an increase, but... It's something worth having. I mean, I think a range increase would have been a bit better, given that Vekir does have a bit of a harder time building defenses near his resources in order to deal with Pharaohs and... Sorry, with Pharaohpods and... I guess that's about it. Blackbirds never use for harassment. But, we're gonna see that. Anyway, Jerakun going for... Is he going for a Foundation Rush? No, it looks like it. He's got all of his infantry going forward to Cybernetic Pony's base. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, getting a Foundation early on, probably gonna get an early depot. Has an early Zion Veer just in case. I don't think he knows what... Oh, nice! Nice, comma, have wall-in. Not a full wall-in, though. I should point out, this is a partial wall-in. It's basically just going to funnel in Jerrican's units. It's not going to fully block them off. Also, there's another choke point anyway. But yeah, Severny Pony going for a bit of a wall in here, and unless I'm wrong, it might be a full wall in. No, it's not even a full wall in for buildings. So it will allow units to go through, but it's still a tight quarter. Could be used as just an even tighter choke point if Severny Pony had his units surrounding it. He, however, does not. Not to mention there's a nice vantage point from this top cliff here that would basically nullify the advantage. This, this cliff here, and that would knock out everything behind the combubs. So, not much point, but hey. One more comm hub would wall it off fully, but that being said, Jericho's forces is coming in. They do see the comm hubs. They do know the wallens coming in. Jericho well aware of what's happening, and he is moving in. All these units can get rid of the comm hubs before it matters, and like I said, it's not a full wall in, so it doesn't actually really matter. Cybernetic Pony loses that Teth Veer, and I don't know what he's going to do with that. Jericho, on the other hand, not build, well, not building anything more in his main base, no additional Zion Veers or anything like that. However, jumping back to the start of the game, it looks like he's not changing anything up at all. Nope. Continuing along, not sure why he did that. Yet, yeah, he just wants to watch his units at the unplayable past edge. While Cybernetic Pony, back up the present, is... Well, losing his comm hubs. Actually, the Shin Veer is the only one alive, and it can actually detect cloaked units. Because fully built comm, comm hubs are, in fact, cloaked. And simultaneously, Cybernetic Pony hitting J-Raccoon's base... Jericho has no real defense for this, so I think Jericho probably is going to change this up. Yes, he is. There we are. His units are at his base. He is building up economy. He is not going for a full attack. He has overscattered what Cybernetic Pony is up to, and Cybernetic Pony, for his part, he doesn't appear to be changing the comm hub wall in. Now, that being said, this does only this does stop vehicles. Infantry, no. Vehicles, yes, until they get skipped teleport, of course. But still, vehicles will be stopped. So I think Cybernetic Pony is probably going to keep that up. He does have a depot up at the 433 mark. Later than usual by about a minute. So I think Cybernetic Pony, he's going for a more defensive strategy. He's, now that he's a bit confident that Jericoon is probably not doing anything, he's going to be switching over to vehicles. Normally he'd switch over to vehicles earlier on for defense though, but getting a Zion Turcher as well, yeah, it looks like Cybernetic Pony is, oh, Zion Pulsar and Zion Turcher. This looks like, a, this is a mid-game army idea, or mid-game composition. It's not really an army, it's a two-unit group, but hey, it's there. But I think Cybernetic Pony is well aware that Jericho was faking that attack. Jericho going for another scouting run, though. Sending his infantry over again. I think it's a bit of a mistake for having this Zion Veer with him. 
The Shin Beard Heath Beard makes sense. The Zion Beard, not so much. Three minute mark. Two minutes down from what we were looking at just prior. And Cyber Nighty Pony does see that Jericoon not attacking that aggressively. He has plenty of time that he can build up this depot, build up an aerial control center. There it is. Aerial control center being built up. And the Zion Pulsar, Zion Turcher have been revealed, but hey, who cares? It's a Zion Pulsar, Zion Turcher. It has to be dealt with. Jericoon can't just deal with it with what he has now. And Cyber Nighty Pony. He is three minutes up from here. That's the one thing. It has been revealed such that Jericoon has plenty of time to see it coming. Setting up a comm hub just to know exactly when it's coming in. Not going to bother walling off, being that he's playing as Vecchio with Skip Teleport. That'd be kind of pointless. But he can at least see what's coming in. Bit surprised he's not putting a comm hub up here. He might move this comm hub over to the ramp, over to the cliff area. That would help out a fair bit. Where it is now is not bad, but it could be more useful further forward. And Jericoon getting, it looks like a depot of his own. That's his best response, really. Get Zion Churchers and Zion Pulses of his own. Probably more Zion Churchers than the opposite. Or than the Zion Pulsers. But there it is. There's the Depot at the 346 mark. Actually, earlier than Cybernetic Pony, all things considered. Currently speaking, J-Raccoon is getting his Depot up faster. So he's going to have his defense up faster, possibly go for an offense. Though it looks like he's not going to go for it. And yes, this comp up is being moved forward. Wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And... The Zion Veer here it doesn't look like it's going to be used for anything. I wonder if Jericho's going to go straight for Aerial Control Center and try to get this Shin Veer here into something useful. Shin Veer and Teth Veer into to a Shin Turcher and Teth Turcher. That would be interesting. Don't know if he's going to go for that, though. And Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, does have Shin Turchers up at the 646 mark. He is two minutes up from J Raccoon. So J Raccoon has plenty of time to respond. Another Shin Turcher coming in as well for the seven minute mark. Attacking around the southeast just in case Jericho has expanded. Used to be common to expand to the southeast. Not so much anymore, actually. One base play has gotten more popular recently, so no surprise, no expansions happened yet. But yeah, 727 mark, this is when Cybernetic Pony is attacking, telegraphing the attack too, I should point out. So Jericoon, having a few minutes to respond, will be able to get up some Zion Pulsers, Zion Turchers, possibly get an Aerial Control Center even. Not going for that, though. Nope, going for Zion Pulse is pure. Not sure if he's aware of the Zion Turcher. Zion Pulses, of course, deal less damage to Zion Turchers, so it's not going to be the same. And Zion Turchers... The thing with Zion Turchers is that they are... Well, they take half damage from Zion Pulsers, basically. So you don't want to use Zion Pulsers against them, and you want to use them against Zion Pulsers. Although enough Zion Pulsers, and it won't matter. I don't think Jericho has the numbers to make that happen. He has the money, eventually, by this point, by the six-minute mark, so he will be able to afford enough Zion Pulsers to make a difference. But he isn't yet, and this comm center, or comm hub, is going off on its own. It's, well, going to the center of the map, actually. That's a little risky, but you know what? It is cloaked, so why not? No detectors along the way until the Shin Turchers come, but the Shin Turchers are actually going around the... They're going around the side, so this is not a... This is not the best idea, but it's not a bad idea. You will see any obvious attacks from the center. Now, Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is going for an obvious attack from the center and does see the comm hub. He knows it's coming. So oh, that's not really going to be a surprise, and it... Oh man, that attack is kind of painful. Getting rid of Shinveer, which is probably there to set up an expansion. J Raccoon. Well, he's got a Shinveer and Tethfear up here. He's, gonna set... he's, in... he's not setting up any foundations. I don't know if he's going to go for the expansion. Does not look like it. Well, Zion Pulsers are moving forward, and J Raccoon... Is he going to just go for a counter harass? I think that's what he's going to go for. However, at the 638 mark, this is when we do see the attack coming in from Cybernetic Pony. Jericoon well aware of the test. Zion Turchers. And Jericoon getting attacked in his main base. These Zion Pulse is about to teleport out, by the way. Jericoon is going to need to undo those orders. Doesn't have any more Zion Pulsers either. Any units that, for that matter. He's getting a few, but doesn't have any at the moment. And they have skipped teleport. They are getting out of the base. Jericoon getting them out of the base at probably the worst time. Although he will be able to encounter Cybernetic Pony's forces before they themselves go for the attack. But they are going to teleport away from this fight and not even going for it. Just going straight for Cybernetic Pony's base, encountering yet another Zion Pulsar and going to encounter Shin Turchers before too long. But Jericoon jumps back a minute and he won't see what's happening beforehand. Cybernetic Pony up about three seconds, does see this attack, does not, just goes to respond to it, gets rid of the attack, losing a Zion Pulsar in the process. So if Jericoon does not change anything, he will lose his units. But I'm guessing he's going to try to teleport inside Cybernetic Pony's base. At the very least, it does force Cybernetic Pony back. In fact, Jericoon teleporting towards the center. He's just getting out of there. Keeping Cybernetic Pony kind of on his toes, but Cybernetic Pony did not undo the earlier orders. Leaving this area in the west, or in the center west, completely vulnerable. Getting attacked by Zion Pulsers. Which, one of them has to retreat, has to heal up. 
and another Zion Pulsar actually in Jericho's base to attack the so 7 Pony, thanks to the orders not being undone all across, or partially undone, all across the map right now. Jericoon will be able to get rid of the Zion Pulsar, but still, that's some harassment damage. That is just putting a bit more of a strain on j Raccoon right now. And the Shin Turtles are coming up. They are definitely a good choice here. And Cyber Nandy Pony going for Gate Tech, getting his Quip Teleport going. I don't think he's going to go for Slipgate right away, but he does have his Skip Teleport coming up for free. All his units do have Skip Teleport, though. So I think he probably will end up going, except for this Shin Turtle does not. The Shin Turtle doesn't. But the rest of the ground forces do, and once Gate Tech is up, he will be able to afford a skip tell, or he will be able to afford a slip gate if he wants to. Probably not gonna go for it right away. And we do have a battle in Jericho's base, or will anyway. Cybernetic Pony is coming in. He's going to be going for this. Ted Searcher, sorry, Zion Searcher's in. It's cloaked. The Foundation should be able to see it though. But it doesn't matter, like I said before, Zion Pulsars do deal enough damage, it won't matter. And Shin Churcher coming in as well. Jericho and me attacked on all sides while he himself is also getting Gate Tech. Both players are restricting Gate Tech. Jericho only got it about 10 seconds after Cybernetic Pony did. But Cybernetic Pony in a much better position to make it work, having more units, having a more secure position overall. I think Jericho is planning on turning this foundation into a slip gate. That will not be feasible at this point. He has to defend his base, already losing his Zion Pulsar. Despite Depot Heal losing his Iron Pulsar, this Shin Turcher is the biggest hassle right now. And Jericho trying to get another foundation for healing. It's not going to work out this. Another Zion Turcher goes down. Jericho had no orders left to heal that up. And now no more vehicles. I think Jericho has lost this game. And another Z Shin Turcher being teleported in. Like I said, Skip Teleport is up. And that is game. Jericho throws in the towel. Cybernetic Pony wins. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So I hope you enjoyed those games. And yeah, that's it. So, thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night.